Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another Click Look video where we clearly look at various art books and magazines and today we are looking at this one which should hopefully be issue number 223 of the Imagine FX magazine so let's go and have a look at this one So Betty the Bunny's with us today, she's going to help us get into that one, but first, well this one is issue number 223 for March 2023, and I remember it in the last one, they said that this one was going to be a sketchbook special. So so far we've had these two, this was January and this was the last one, February. Now both the covers so far have been beautiful I think. But this last one especially, probably going to be the best cover of the year I reckon. And it was all all, all about Loish. <laughs> she was the guest editor and she also did a workshop in here as well. Yeah, and there's loads of an interview with Loish. That was a cool one that was. But let's get into this one. So little Betty's going to let us in. And the first thing is, what colour do you reckon it is? I've got a feeling this one's going to be yellow for some reason. Oh, oh yeah, it's a sketchbook one, isn't it? So it'll be black and white. Yes. So Betty's let us in. Pop! Yay! Oh, that's a cool... Oh, well, they've had amazing covers this year so far. Any other year, that would probably be like the best one. But that's that's still my favourite one. But how cool is that for a cover? Look, we've got... It's just full of sketches. And those are my types of sketches as well. Sketches by Andy Estrada. I've added them before. So these are all like character sketches. Little characters. So Betty's going to let us in. Doing <laughs> inside. Look, Rob's back. Welcome to our sketchbook special. Now the thing for me is, sketches is one of my favourite things. My favourite books are the t are the um, sketching from the imagination by 3D Total Publishing, and they also do another one called Character Collection, which is all. But look at this. I've got a feeling this might be the best issue if it lives up to its promise. Oh, look, even the um. Oh, you're joking. You, you're joking. Look, the whole thing's a sketchbook. Oh, my. Oh, wow. This is amazing. The whole issue is full of sketches. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, this is like, this is like a dream come true for me. Little penguins, look. Oh, this is, this is cool. So what I love about sketches is you really see, for me, it's when you really see the artist in the sketches. Because like, as they, as they add more details and stuff, it's sometimes you lose, you lose their original vision. So for me, sketches is where you, it really captures what they wanted. And also, look how different all these styles are. Find a little soul. <laughs> We've got animals. These are nice ones. We've got animals and people. Oh, that's a cool one. Some little like elf thing. Little pixie um, mushroom. Hey, oh cool, we've got an in interview as well. So we, we've actually have, I wonder if they've got like sketchbook workshops as well. That'd be cool. I'll tell you something I've noticed. Imagine FX is trying a lot of new things this year. Because last week, or last month, it was all about lowish 
So she sort of took over the issue. And now Sketches is taking over the issue. I wonder what the next one will be. These are cool characters. Oh yeah, I like these ones. Look at how um, clean like the lines are. I like that as well. <laughs> Little creature. Armel Munyankizi. I like this character here. You can imagine these sort of being like um, rivals. John Hoey. I've heard of this guy before. I believe people bring as much to a piece of art as to what has gone into it. Fantasy sketches, look. I like that. That reminds me a bit of the video game Journey. Imagine a video game in in that in that visual style, like sketch. That would I'd love that. A video game where the world is sketchbook. Rodrigo Luff. These are nice as well. See, I wouldn't I wouldn't call these sketch sketches. For me, these are too good for sketches. They're cool, huh? Felipe. <laughs> oh, look. I love that one. And this one. This is my favourite. I think this is my favourite artist so far. Little Felipe. Felipe Magana. I like the connection between those two. Jim Roden. That's cool, isn't it? Robots. I like that one. It's like a frog robot. Sergi Brossa. These are a bit like Borderland. I can imagine these characters in in the video game Borderland. Hey look, Borderlands 3. <laughs> That's quite cool, isn't it? See I didn't I um stopped playing video games after Borderlands 2. So I don't know these characters. Oh I know that one, I've seen that guy before. Oh of cool, so they got an interview with the bloke who's must have created Borderland characters. Cool style. Oh, I like these ones. Look at her look. Sexy but old. Oh, I like that. Oh, Cassie. Look at look at that look. Again, when you've got a human with an animal. Oh, I love these. When you've got a human with an animal, for some reason I find it a beautiful relationship sort of thing. Much better than two humans. Tony and he's sort of like goblin things, little gnomes. Wizards and gnomes. These are good. Dragons look. Serpents. David. David Nor Noren. Actually creating little worlds by the looks of things. Oh, look at this. I like these. Um, it's almost like you've got a whole sort of it's quite weird. These remind me a bit of Terry Pratchett. I like the colour on these ones. Oh, cool, look. How cool is she? Joshua Black. Yay, one of my favourites, Peniel Oram. We got an interview with Peniel Oram. She's, I've got a couple of her art books. I just love, I love her artwork. I like the way she doesn't have any outlines on her characters. Hit girl. Hey look, Peniel. 
Penel teamed up with hit girl comic book writer Kevin to create these covers exclusive for the Danish editions. Oh, I wish I had those ones. I've actually, I recently picked up a hit girl graphic novel. And I did say to my mum how boring the covers looked on those. Because they just used like photographs of, it looked like they used photographs from the films. This is the sort of covers I want. Stylized. That's the book I've got, look. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description for that one. And here we go, that's the bloke from the front. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, these are fun. These are fun. God, this is so cool. Every page you're turning over, you just think it can't get better, and it does. Nicholas. Oh, look at this one here, look. Got like a little, um, called Squeeze. <laughs> Sparf. Whiting's back to front. wonder how long that takes to do that. This is a bit like Jake Parker. Reminds me of Jake Parker. 22 always used to be my favourite number until Lewis Hamilton was 44 and 44 sort of took over. Brett Bean. I like that name. Future Noodles, look. <laughs> oh, Sarah Tepes. These are beautiful as well. I feel like I've seen these somewhere before. Am Amphra. Well, that was amazing. What's the next one? Be a manga mast master, look. Get exclusive advice on how to boost your painting skills. And is, is it going to be a manga special next? I hope so. Look, manga special by looks of it. Well, I have to say, I think that could well be my favouritest ever. And I've looked at over probably, I've probably looked at about, it's got to be over maybe a hundred issues of this Imagine Effects so far. And I think this is actually my favouritest issue. This was brilliant. So, so far that's got the best cover, look, the February one. But Imagine FX 223 is, I reckon that might end up being the all time favouritest Imagine FX magazine. Yeah. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that. I've got to say, look, Imagine FX in 2023 is really, as they say, knocking it out of the park. Look at these, look. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you, well, I'll see you tomorrow if you come back because tomorrow I'm going to be looking at this which should be issue number 23 of the Character Design Quarterly magazine. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to this one as well. So I shall see you later for another one.